Hello everyone. So we will continue the topic usual a back class. We gave some method name. We took the method as instance method. We gave the visibility of the method as public. Now next thing we have to give the parameters in this particular method. I will click on the method and I will go to parameters tab. When we started the topic, we discussed this usual ABAP class is equal to function module of core ABAP. If I'm showing you one function module. Suppose I'm going to SC37 and I'm displaying the function module. In function module, you have the provision for import, export, changing, table, exception. You can write the source code. In this usual ABAP class, we will write the logic in the method method and we have the same provision to give import export changing we can give exceptions we have a provision of returning also so we will discuss the requirement what was our requirement our input will be sales document number and I will display the details of sales document number. Suppose I will go to SC11 transaction code. VBAK is the table for sales document number. I will display this table. Suppose input is sales document number and I will display some details of the sales document number. Suppose I will display date, time, username, and document category. Suppose I will display these four details of the sales document number. It means I have one input and four output from this particular map. Now we will learn how to give input and output parameters. Suppose my first I'm giving suppose input parameter PVBELN. I will go for type. I'll click on F for help. Now what is importing? Importing means input. What is exporting? Exporting means output. Changing. Changing can act as both. It can be input. It can be output both. Now, as of now, just one explanation of returning is a method can have only, only one returning parameter. More than one returning parameter is not allowed. In the future, we will go for detailed practical part of this. But as of now, just one understanding that a method can have only one returning parameter. So as of now, I will take this sales document number as importing. Importing means input. I will pass the data element of sales document number. This is data element. So this is my input. In the function module, you are doing the same thing. You are declaring a parameter in the import tab of the function module. Now we have four output parameters. Suppose I'm saying PER tab. It will be my exporting parameter. 
I will choose the data element. Now I will take another date, another exporting parameter because I have to go for four exporting parameters. I'll pass the data element. I will go for my third exporting parameter, which is for name. This is again exporting data element of ER num. Now I will go for VB type, which is document category VB type. So I took one importing and four exporting parameters in this particular method. And in the function module, you are doing the same thing. You are using import and export tabs of the function module. Now we will go for some exception also. Suppose in this case, I will use this exception tab. Suppose I will give some exception name. Suppose wrong input. I will give some description, suppose wrong input. Now in the function module, you are doing the same thing. If you want to give some exception, you are using the exception tab of the function module. So what we did in this particular method, we gave some method name. We gave the type as instance. We gave the visibility of the method. We took one importing and four exporting parameters in this particular method. And we declared one exception also. Now, what is the next thing? We have to write the logic in this particular method how to write. I'll go to methods and I will click on to source code button. Yes. And you can see I have this editor opened where I can write the logic. Just compare it to function module. In the function module, we have function and function. Here we have method and method. And here I will write the logic. Logic is totally, totally same, which we are always writing. Select. I want to select the values of four columns. ER dat, ER ZDT, ER num, VB type. From which table I am fetching VBA into I will pass the values through my four exporting parameters. What is my first exporting parameter? PER dat comma PER ZDT PER num PVB type. Now, what will be the where condition or what is the input where VBELN is equal to PVBELN. This based upon this input, we will fetch data from VBAK table for these four columns and data will come into these four exporting parameters. I'll check the syntax. Okay, I have to use select single because in VBAK table, if I'm passing a sales document number, I will always get a single record because I'm passing a single input. I'll check the syntax 
and I will activate this particular. So the summary in this video is we learned how to write a logic in the usual ABAP class method. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.